What's up guys, 370 Gaming here, and today I've got another tutorial video for TEW 2016. If you haven't seen the first one, you can click it on the screen right now, and uh, go to the back to the first video where I showed you how to purchase and install the game originally. Uh, if you're well versed in the game, and, and how to play it, and the pictures, and all, all of that kind of stuff, then this video isn't really for you, so, sorry. Uh, <laughs> but if you kinda, you know, you're getting into the game, and you want to make cool pictures and stuff, but you don't really know how to do it, you don't really know what you need for it, then that's what I made this video for. I got a lot of uh, comments since my last tutorial video on this tutorial, so I figured let's get it going. So yeah, the first thing we're going to go over is you need a graphics editing program to uh, to do this. You can't just, you know, slap it in paint and go on. I suppose maybe you could slap it in paint in the paint program, but I don't recommend it. Uh, I have here a version of Photoshop. Obviously, not everybody can afford Photoshop, not everybody can get Photoshop, uh, so I've provided links in the description, or you can see them right here, on uh, two free alternatives, uh, GIMP and Paint.net. They both can basically do the same thing. They're your uh, fairly standard, you know, graphics editing program. You know, it's going to be more advanced than Paint, but maybe not as advanced as Photoshop. GIMP is pretty good, though. From my experience, I, uh, I like GIMP, uh, personally. But uh, yeah, so if you don't have either of these programs, if you don't have Photoshop, get one of the three programs and you'll be good to go. So yeah, we will go on to the next step. Okay, so once you have the basic understanding of whatever graphics editing program you're using, whether it be GIMP, whether it be Paint.net, whether it be Photoshop, uh, you're going to need to know the dimensions for all the available pictures. And also, I've provided you templates in the link in the description below. Uh, there should be a media fire link leading to a RAR titled TEW Picture Resources. These are all some good templates to work with. The dimensions, if you want to just start fresh and like, you know, like what to do, but you just don't know something, whatever, I'm just going to go over the dimensions here. <laughs> uh, they're 150 by 150 for a new wrestler picture or uh, TV show, event logo, things like that. Uh, 200 by 100 for a title belt and 500 by 40 for a, a company banner that shows up like on your company page. Not your company page, but like an event. You're going through, you see the banner. I'll show you all that uh, later. But anyways, so the link in the description, the TW Picture Resources will come with all of these files. Uh, these two are pretty standard fare, popularly used. Uh, as you'll see, you don't have to use these, but these are like, these are the standard templates like that I've seen. You know, there's a lot of different ones out there, a lot of different mod makers and makes different things, but uh yeah, basically. Uh the belt background, I mean again, it kinda varies. You know, this is the one I've seen linked with this one, so that's that's why that's there. And the banner, I haven't seen a banner template around. I guess because it's so small you can't really see like any defining uh, background and they're all kind of the same. So I just made a template one in case you want to just drag and drop it, whatever to uh fill it with whatever you want. So, uh, yeah, let's get started here by telling you, uh, for a custom wrestler, what you're going to want to do, first of all, for anything, for anything I'm about to mention right now, any single thing, whether it be a wrestler, whether it be a title belt, whether it be a logo, PSD Dreams is the place to go. That's psd-dreams.de. You don't need the slash index, but it helps. Listen. Uh, you will have to register an account in order to download things. It's really not like a painful process at all. It's good to go. As you can see, they've got a lot of the latest stuff. This is being recorded December 1st, 2016, so it's got shitty DCC from TNA. It's got Roadblock, End of the Line. It's got Lana. It's got all the stuff you could want, so that is where to go. So um, let's say we're going to make a new wrestler picture, okay? I've pulled up right now, and you can use whatever program you want, whatever you like. Uh, I've chosen this 150 by 150 background. Um, they all have to be JPEGs. If I didn't mention that before, I probably put that up on the screen. Uh, they all have to be JPEG files or else they won't be recognized. Uh, so I just chose this. You can do whatever you want. I mean, you could just you could draw whatever you want on there. Whatever kind of cool gradients, uh, pictures, whatever kind of anything you want. You know what I mean? You can just... You know, you you could just go, you know, make a cool, ooh, you know, stripe thing. You know, I don't know. I don't know. Listen, I'm not going to make anything right now, but that's the idea. Is you get a 150 by 150 pixel uh, square. You can take this default template or make whatever you want. And then now you just need a wrestler to put on it. So what we're going to do is we're going to use everybody's favorite wrestler, Roman Reigns. We're going to go to the WWE. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. Please put your torches and pitchforks down. 
Uh, we're gonna go WWE wrestling, WWE. We'll go. To, I guess we'll go to Raw. I guess he's on Raw. I think that's the thing. I don't know. I don't pay attention. Roman Reigns. Now, specifically for this one, right? If you downloaded a mod pack like I told you to do, or told you, like I demanded, if uh, like I instructed in the first video, but like, let's say you want more in depth, right? Roman Reigns is the U.S. champion. Maybe you want a Roman Reigns U.S. champion picture. You can choose any of the pictures. Once you've signed up, you can go here to download, save link as, and just save it right there. One minute left. Look at that. Five megabytes. Can't download it in just a couple seconds. Here we go. There you go. Roman Reigns right there. United States champion. So that's if you want to keep it really super up to date. I don't like to do that personally. Like if I were to update the roster, I'd get a Roman, I'd get like that one, like just because you're mostly aiming for the headshot on these pictures, and you're not really, sometimes it's not about the title, that's fine. So what you'll do here, uh, like I said, you might have different graphics, uh, programs, but for this, I'm going to use open, it's roughly the same thing, Roman Reigns there. Now, the uh, the thing about PSD Dreams, right, is they're the ones that don't have, their their cut, they don't have backgrounds around them, they don't have weird stuff. So you can just select all, you can just copy, copy merged, whatever you'd like to do, and you can go back to the 150 by 150 background and paste. And uh, there's probably an easier way to do this, I might not be the guy for this, but uh, <laughs> I just hold shift and hold the corner there, bring that all the way down, resize that bitch, here we go. Slowly but surely, because they're big files, they're not, you know what I mean, they're, they're high quality, only the most high quality at PSD Dreams. So you can just hold shift, drag it down so it maintains its aspect ratio, and you can just uh, bring it to however you like. If you want more of a face shot, you can. If you want more just like on the top, oh yeah, look at that, that's a good one, yeah, alright. You, know, you just want a face shot, you just enlarge the face. Uh, but I like it about that. This signifies he's the US champion, this signifies he is Roman Reigns, so what we'll do there, we'll save that as a JPEG format, very important. And we'll call it Reigns, oh, can't spell for shit, Reigns US Champ. You can name it whatever you want, it'll recognize it, uh, it's no big deal anyway. But um, yeah, so I'm going to go over more files, but just for now, let's do this. I'm going to use my June 2016 data because I haven't updated anything ever, like in a million years. I think the last thing I updated was my ROH save. Uh, so we'll go to People. And you can see all the people from that folder, and then you can take your picture wherever you may have saved it, and just drag it and drop it right into the pictures. Go ahead and do that, and there he is, Reigns U.S. Champ. Ideally, you probably want to get it to uh, match up to, you know, uh, the actual Roman Reigns, or is he by his real name here? Yeah. So, <laughs> depending on how you want to identify it, what you want to name it, uh, you can do as you please. All right, now that we've done that, we can go uh, go to the game and load it up. As you can see there, I made a little test game for this. So you can take that Roman Reigns picture, and of course, uh, I choose the wrong background. It was the KYKY KY back, Kai Kai, whatever you want to call it. And he is the world champion on this old save. But for the sake of this tutorial, he's the... No, I didn't put Roman Reigns, did I? I put Reigns. There you go. Reigns US champ. So as you can see... It's, you know, <laughs> it's basically same proportions, you know, they're basically head shots, chest shots, things like that. You could maybe go a little closer, but, um, you know, if you're trying to do your own graphics, your own spin on things, you don't really want to uh, stay on what everyone else is doing, you know what I mean? You want to kind of do your own thing, so that just is, you know, it's an example of what you can quickly throw together with the background, a wrestler, whatever you want. You can try your own different backgrounds, your different sizes of wrestlers, things like that, but, uh, yeah, that's it for that one. We will go on to, uh, I guess let's do TV logos next, because it's it's roughly the same thing as the uh, the wrestler. So we'll go ahead and, uh, again, as of this recording, uh, December 1st, 205 Live just debuted. So what we can do is we can make 205 Live, get that spiffy little logo right there, click on that, save link as, get the 205 Live cut right there, good to go. And now what we'll do is we'll just put the... 205 Live logo onto the background. Again, whatever background you'd like to do, just go ahead, open it up, select all, copy, copy merged, what have you. Go back to the original. Oh boy, 
Come on. Let's close the 205 Live logo. We already copied it. And we will paste it. Again, gonna have to free transform, uh, resize, what have you. Hold the shift key down as you drag to maintain the aspect ratio. Um, or, you know, try try whatever you like. You know, it might look a little different if you, uh, you know, stretch it out to a certain proportion, whatever you like. But you can see there, 205 Live. Go ahead and save that. JPEG, of course. And we'll just call it 205. So that's 205 Live. Again, you know, the backgrounds are going to be different compared to your background compared to the background that's already in the game. Uh, what you'll do, take the 205, take the TV, and drag it to TV instead of uh, instead of people, the TV folder, in whatever picture pack you're using. You can see you can see there where it is. Listen, I don't, <laughs> it doesn't have to be uh, baby steps through the whole thing. You can see what's going on. We'll go to TEW, and uh, you can edit any TV show, anything you want. We'll just go to Broadcasting. TV controls, a main event, it doesn't matter. We're just testing right now. Click on the show, and 205. So if you wanted to make 205 Live, if you want to make your own custom show, that's how you do it. You just save that there, boom, 205 Live. So that's fairly, you know, fairly the same to the wrestler. Uh, it's just different where you go to do it, what it looks like, things like that. Okay, so I'm recording this after the fact because I uh, had gone back. As you can see, it's a different time, <laughs> uh, different sound around me. But uh, yeah, I didn't show you guys how to add an event logo. You do the same process uh, like the TV logo, but basically what you'll do here, just um, take any any of the TV logo. We'll just copy the 205 logo just for just for uh, you know efficiency's sake, right? Go to your database, put it in events and put it right there. Whatever your event is, it's just the same same deal there. You can call it whatever you want. Uh, go to TEW, schedule, uh, double click, and like, you know, rumble. Just click the picture there, 205 Live. So doing the process for events is the same as the TV. It's the same size, it's the same everything. It's just it's in a different place. So I just wanted to show you guys that uh, before I forget. The next thing uh, we're gonna look at is uh, custom belts. Custom belts are a different one. We'll open the belts folder there, but uh, they're different because they have this 200 by 100 pixel background. We'll go ahead and close that out. Uh, the belts you can also go to PSD Dreams right here, as you can see. We we'll, uh, we will uh oh, we'll close that out. I'm speeding through this. I I keep having to make cuts here. We're we need to slow it down. We're we're trying to go step by step here. I'm making I'm making errors, everybody. Not errors that you've seen, but errors that I've had to uh, cut out, of course. Okay, so we're gonna go to wrestling. And while that loads really slowly for some reason, we're going to go to miscellaneous, or you can see there championships, whatever championship you'd like to use. We'll just use some contemporary stuff. Uh, like the Universal Championship. If the Universal Championship isn't in a data pack you have, then you can go ahead and get it here. Find whichever one you like, whatever angle you'd like, go ahead, save link as, and just save it right there. Uh, so what you'll do there, of course, it's save it wherever you want, wherever it may be. You can open the file, standard procedure as before, just select the whole thing, however you like, Control C, Control V, paste it right there. You're going to free transform, resize that bad boy all the way down to the 200 by 100 category. And again, you know, you can fiddle around with it, do it however you like. I have my standard way of doing it. You can have your standard way. There's no wrong answer here. You know what I'm saying? You got to have trial and error. But uh, that's the basic thing right there. So you can save that as a title. And we will not J not PNG. I save a lot of things as PNG. It's got to be a JPEG. Universal. We'll just call it Universal there. So you save that as a JPEG. All right. We'll go back here. You can see we've got the nice belt picture there. We'll drag it right into belts. And again, to keep in with organization of, of prior mods, things like that, you may want to name it appropriately. But this is just you know to get you through. And uh, so we will go back to the game. Go check out titles, and uh, there is no universal belt, so we'll just we'll just modify the WWE title. What the hell? 
And you just type in Universal. There it is, Universal Championship. So as you can see there, you've got all these different titles. Again, uh, you know, the, each mod pack is going to have that kind of like angled title look. Um, making your own graphic set, you can do whatever you want, you know what I mean? It doesn't matter. Uh, so you can angle it, you can keep it straightforward like that. However you'd like it to be, that's how it works. So you would just go to Modify Title, click the picture, there you go. And the last thing to show you will be the banner. Now the banner is an underrated little thing because it looks really good in the places that it is. Now I do forget, I do forget where it is because <laughs> it has been a while. Okay, that took me a little bit to find because I forgot. Uh, you can go to your company profile and product and that'll be where the banner is located. Uh, it also shows up in a couple of different places. Uh, when you're running a TV show it shows up there. Uh, there's a couple other places I forget right now, but it, the banner, it looks really good when you've made a custom banner and it's not just a default one, you know what I mean? So yeah, what we're going to do is we're going to make the banner and then I'll show you where to change it. Uh, but if you wanted to make the banner, um, there's no standard procedure for this because banners aren't like titles, they're not like logos, you can't, there's not really, there's not a set standard for, for banners. So if you were just like, you just took this plain white background and oh god that is huge font Jesus bring that down a little bit down a little bit more yeah a little bit there we go so if you're just like WWE text is white unbelievable unbelievable professionalism there you go WWE right we're just making this as as, as half-ass as we want it to be w look at that that is professionalism at its finest uh, the banner now, since there's no like set precedent for these banners, you do whatever you want, and I mean it should look good with whatever mod pack you have. But uh, you just go ahead and save it. You can use the TW banner template, 500 by 40 pixels. We'll call it WWE again. That's what we'll do, and we'll save that there. You're gonna take the WWE again banner, drag it right into the banners folder. Go ahead and do that, and uh, that'll be in the banners folder. What you'll do, pull up your game. Go to the Options folder, Edit Data, in the Companies, you'll go to what your company is, WWE of course, and Banner right there. Click on the name, the file name of it, and uh, be right there, WWE again. Perfect, look at that, that is graceful. So you can go ahead and save that, and then if you want to look at it, just go to your Company Page, Product, right there beautiful, professional, wonderful banner right there. Again, it will show up a couple different places, uh, like when you run a TV show, uh, things like that. I forget off the top hand where it is, and uh, so yeah, so sorry about that. But you will see it in places. It's a cool, subtle change that you can edit to your liking. So that's pretty cool there. And that'll just about do it for this tutorial. So I thank you guys very much for watching. Uh, I'd like to say one more time before we wrap up that uh, all of these materials, except the ones that I've you know made and downloaded here, uh, will all be in this TW Picture Resources file in the description below. Drop a like if the video has helped you in any way, and uh, let me know in the comments if you have any further questions. If I didn't explain anything uh, correctly, if you have further anything you need help with, just uh, let me know. And if you want another tutorial of some other kind, let me know that as well. So uh, yeah, that'll be it for now. I will talk to you guys later. Peace.